In this video, I'll demonstrate the three transparency tools in PhotoPaint, Object Transparency, Color Transparency, and Object Transparency Brush. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. I'll start with the Object Transparency tool. In this example, the object selected with the pick tool is the ghostly woman cutout. She stands out a bit too much for a ghost, so I'll open the transparency tool group and activate object transparency. This tool has five options, the simplest of which is uniform transparency. I can choose a preset from the transparency picker or adjust the transparency percentage. The higher the transparency, the less we'll see of the object. All transparency options can be applied to a clip mask. If I enable this, I create a clip mask from the object, which preserves the original object. So, if I decide to remove the transparency later, I can right-click on the object and choose Clip Mask, Disable, or Remove. In this example, the text object is active, and I'll activate Object Transparency and choose Fountain Transparency. This is a gradient transparency, which currently goes from black to black, fully transparent at both ends. I'll drag a white swatch into the node at the left, and now the transparency goes from zero to full. I can drag the nodes so that the gradient is vertical, adjust where the gradient starts and ends, and adjust the transparency midpoint. I can also change the transparency acceleration. I can reverse direction, choose repeat or repeat and mirror, and open the Edit Transparency window for more exact control. I can remove any transparency with the No Transparency option. I'll turn off the text and turn on and select a second version of the background image, which has a sketchpad effect. When a fountain transparency is applied to this object, I can get a nice transition from sketch to realistic. I can switch to elliptical, and now the transparency radiates from the center. Fountain transparency is also nice for creating reflections. In this example, I want to create a separate object for everything above the water. So from the Mask tool group, I'll activate the Smart Selection Mask, drag within the area I want to mask, and choose Object, Create, Copy from Mask. With this new object selected and the Pick tool active, I'll flip over the reflection and adjust its location. Now I can apply a fountain transparency to this object, set it to vertical, and move nodes so that the reflection fades into the water. In this example, I want to create a textured border around the photo. I'll turn off the photo and select the top of the two filled rectangles. The object transparency I'll use here is Bitmap Pattern Transparency. With the Transparency Picker, I can look through categories of grayscale bitmaps, such as Nature, Increase the thumbnail size, and click a swatch to try it out. The darker areas of the bitmap are where the selected object is more opaque, and the lighter areas have higher transparency, allowing the object below to show through. I can use the white node to rotate the pattern, and drag the black nodes to change the scale in both directions. These values control the transparency of foreground and background. As before, I can use the Edit Transparency window to fine tune settings or to replace the source bitmap. The photo border is now a bit more interesting. For more pattern or texture choices, I can use the Get More icon to explore Corel content. In this example, I have the text selected, and I'll use the last type of object transparency, texture. The available patterns are in color, but their grayscale versions are used for transparency. I'll find a texture that looks like water and adjust its angle and size. The Color Transparency tool can be used to remove specific colors from the selected object. Back to my lighthouse image, I have the background object selected. I only want to remove the colors of the sky, so I'll use a rectangular mask to separate out the top part of the photo. Then I'll activate Color Transparency, adjust the tolerance, and click around in the sky to remove one color at a time. Then I'll remove the mask. Now I can import a new background image and move it to the background level. 
Finally, I can also apply transparency as a brush. I have a solid white rectangle covering the photo, whose object is now selected, and I'll activate the object transparency brush. I can set a round or square brush, drag with the shift key to set the nib size, soften with some feathering, set the level of opacity, and drag to uncover the photo below. Now I'll switch to one of the textured brush presets, raise the opacity, and click and drag around the outer parts of the photo to uncover more gradually. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on transparency in photo paint. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.